morning, Dylan. Did you talk around? Hey, Harley. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you dried up. Thanks. Yeah, he's in the kitchen. There's a fresh pot of coffee back here if you want. Oh, great. What you been up to, babe? Just, uh, fixing and doing. Yeah? What else? I mean, how, how have you been since you and Sam, you know? <laughs> well, finding solace in my work. <laughs> oh. No, you're looking at it. I'm just keeping busy. Yeah. But are you okay? Probably about as okay as you must be. Mm. How are you doing? Well, I'd be a lot better if I didn't look for a job all the time. <laughs> mm. Oh, morning, Harley. Got your coffee, I see. Yeah, yeah, I'm all set. You know, Hawk, um, I just want to say thank you for letting me stay here at the boarding house. And I'd like to talk to you about maybe, um, doing some things around here to pay for it, you know? After all you've done for this family, forget it. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I mean it, though. I, I would like to wait tables, or I can just clean up around here. Hey, if you need it's that. the least we could do. You just concentrate on getting back on your feet. Excuse me. I didn't think he'd take you up on your offer. No, I didn't think so either. All right, well, I better get out of here if I'm going to get myself a job. Hey, if you want to lift, I'm headed over to Dr. Bauer's house in a minute. No, I'm not going that way. And actually, I'm headed in the opposite direction of the hill. See ya. think you're gonna get Bridget to clean the pool, huh? Why not? She has to do something to earn her allowance. You think she's aware that being here isn't just a free ride? You yeah. know, escape from the responsibilities of being at home? Sweetheart, Bridget and I have an understanding. Things will be fine. Well, I certainly hope so. Well, I do think so. I think she was lonely at home. She didn't get much attention with the baby. And you know, girls that age need a lot of attention. And maybe, with her boyfriend of bad influence out of the picture, she won't be a problem. Don't give up, do you, Roger? <laughs> Good morning, M. Lewis Designs. 
hurt my feelings or anything if you wanted to go and meet her today. Oh, no, thank you, Daddy. There's nothing worse than being fixed up with a friend by, by our parents. Mm-hmm. It, it never works out. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we're spending some time together today because there's something I've wanted to talk to you about. Daddy, did I tell you what happened yesterday at work when they misplaced the tape that was supposed to be played on the 4 o'clock news? Yeah, yeah, you told me, you told me. Oh, uh, it was a mess. Look. I know you're trying to avoid this little talk with me, Dad. I'm not trying to avoid anything. I'm, I'm just really excited about my job and, and learning about television. And also, I have a surprise for you. Okay. No, really. Remember that wax you were looking for for your saxophone? Mm -hmm. The one you searched all over town for? Yeah. Well, I found it. Yeah, well, I really appreciate that. But you know, that's not going to get me off the subject. What subject? one you're trying so hard to avoid. This little talk. I'm not trying to avoid anything. What is this, about Jilly? No, baby, it's about us. It's about you and me. Now, if we're going to spend the summer together, hey, you know I want you to spend the summer with me, don't you? I hope so. You know what I do. But if we're going to do that, we have to lay some ground rules. And I mean, we have to lay them right now. You're mad at me, aren't you? Sweetheart, there's no way I could be mad. I couldn't be mad at you if I wanted to be mad at you. <laughs> I love you, you know? And all I really want is for you to be happy. Why, why do I hear a butt in there somewhere? Well, the butt is that I don't want you to hurt Julie's feelings anymore. Oh. Hey. Daddy, I thought this was supposed to be our time together. Will you wait a minute? What? Mm. Thank you, Aunt Marie, for breakfast. It was super. Oh, uh, you're very welcome. How would you like to learn how to clean the pool today? Great. But don't you hire someone to do that? I mean, I hate to mess it up. <laughs> don't worry, it's not hard, Bridget. I can show you how. Really? Yeah, I don't think you'll have a problem with it. It could become one of your weekly chores. How do you feel about that? It's a neat job, Bridget. Yeah, that's a really beautiful day for it, too. Great. Well, you know what, Maureen? I would love to help you out as much as I possibly can. I'm just so grateful to you and Uncle Ed for letting me stay here for the summer. Well, we're really thrilled to have you, aren't we, Michelle? You bet. Oh, that must be Dylan. Who? Mm. He's come to renovate the pool cabana. I'm sure you'll meet him later. Okay, so which of you two is going to go find me a stamp? I need it pronto. I will. I really like the earring. Yeah, well, these aren't anything compared to some of the ones I've got. Where do you keep your stamps? Oh, come on, come on. This is important. I think they're in my dad's desk. In his study. You heard her. Chop, chop, go. To Elvis Reed. Is that your boyfriend? Yeah. It's a love letter, isn't it? Look, Michelle, I don't have time to play 20 questions with you. Why don't you go help Ben find the stamp? Okay. Oh, man, you better get here quick. I'm going to go nuts this whole summer with no one around but my aunt, my uncle, and those two brats. So, when do you think you can start? Uh, how about right now? That's great. That's great. Uh, I have to run and do some errands, but Ben and Michelle will be here. Uh, and my niece is visiting from Michigan. Oh. Yeah, she doesn't know anybody in town, and with any luck, she'll be shy. Well, I'll try not to scare her. I'm sure you'll be terrific. Thanks. I'll see you later. Okay.
Daddy, I've changed my mind. I want to go over to Dr. Bauer's house to meet his niece, if he'll drive me. Why? Because Julie's here? Mm -hmm. Look, Kat, she's not even here to see me. She's with Holly. But this is exactly the kind of stuff I'm talking about. It's got to stop. Sweetheart, look. If you want to go over to Ed's, I'll take you. But I really think you need to go over and apologize to Jilly before we leave. I didn't do anything, though. Oh, you think she didn't see you just walk out of here like that? Sweetheart, that was rude. Now, I really think you should go over and apologize. Now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning hi. Hi. Hello, Kat. I just wanted to come over and, and tell you that I was sorry for what I just did. I know it was rude. It's all right, Kat. I really do understand how you feel. Thank you. I'll be back. Stick it. Sounds like progress. Oh, even if Hamp was holding a gun to her back? <laughs> well, at least one part of your life is going well. Really? I didn't notice. Rumor has it that you're going to produce the national program for the Neuro Robotics Project again. I'm what? You want me to say that again? <laughs> no, wait. You took it away from me because, and now I'm giving it back to you. You know, really, you did such a good job on the local show, I decided you should do the national. I'm stunned. You mean this? Oh. Yes, I do. Congratulations. This is fabulous, Holly. Now, I do have some great ideas about exp expanding the national coverage. And, uh, oh, excuse me. Just a minute. Just a minute. Sure. Daniel. Hi. Hello. What a nice surprise. Yeah, for me too. You got a minute? Uh, can we talk in just a sec? I don't want to keep the chief of staff waiting. Not a good idea. No, this is important and it won't take long. Okay. Uh, what's up? I've decided to let Julie produce the documentary on your project. Why? I just think it's the best idea. Does it make a big difference to you? Don't you mean to us? Yeah. Of course not. I'll kill you. Look, uh, we'll talk about it in just a second. I really have to see you. All right. Thank you, sir. I really want you. Sorry about that, Daddy. Um, now, what were you saying? Isn't Vanessa still running the company? Yeah, and that's why it's important for you to come back. I mean, it's a family business. Yeah, but Vanessa is family. Look, I, I know you still care about Vanessa, but I'm not married to her. And uh, HB hardly spends any time at the office. And we don't know when Josh is coming back, and I'm running the towers, and Dylan, well, Dylan is not quite ready yet to take over the company. So, we need you, darling. Daddy, I've got my own business to take care of. You know, I'm real proud of what you've done here. This is terrific. But, Lewis Oil, it's your heritage, darling. I mean, it's in your blood. Daddy, I know it will always be in your blood. But I'm not so sure about mine. Look, darling, I, I know you left the company before when I messed up and let the competition like Roger Thorpe come in and just take away all our clients. Daddy, but... look, I really appreciate what you're asking me to do, but I, I just, I have too many other things to take care of right now. Okay, I, I, I can see you're not ready yet, but, uh, I just want you to know that someday, Someday I, I want us all to be back together again. Okay? Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Bye. Hi, Harley. <laughs> Hi, Billy. Harley, am I glad to see you. You won't believe the offers that have been coming in. I mean, everyone wants everything yesterday. We've got to get hustling on this. Why are you looking at me like that? What's wrong? Mindy, I'm sorry, but you're a little late. I'm quitting. Bridget? Somebody I want you to meet. Hi. Hi. Bridget Reardon, Catherine Speaks. 
It's Kat. Hi. Hi. Kat is spending the summer in town with her father and doesn't know any young people either, so Ed thought the two of you should get together. Hmm. So nice. Well, I'll leave the two of you together to get to know one another. I've got some errands to run. Before I go, though, I have a little surprise for you. I don't know your suitcase is missing, so I've picked you up a couple things. Thank you, Aunt Maureen. You're very welcome. Have a good time. i got to go. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, please. Would you look at this thing? My grandmother wouldn't even wear this. Yeah, it is sort of old-fashioned looking. Yeah, but at least the sales slip's still here, so I can return it for something decent. me a stamp or what? No, there weren't any in my dad's desk. So, try your mom's desk. Try the kitchen. There's got to be one lousy stamp in this house. Yeah. And don't come back, Ben, until you find me one. When are you coming down? I'm supposed to show you how to clean the pool. Look, Michelle, tell you what, I'll let you wear my earrings for the whole day if you'll just take care of this pool stuff for me. All right, thanks. Well, it's no big deal, really. Just don't come back until you find me a stamp. Okay. You wouldn't happen to have a stamp, would you? I've got to get this letter mailed. No, sorry, I don't. Hey, who's that? me to take this company over, you did so because you trusted my judgment. I do, Vanessa, darling. But I'm, uh, I'm confused. What's Billy doing trying to get his foot back into the door of this company? And if it seems to me this company can use Billy's experience and expertise, then I don't think that my judgment should be questioned. You're still in love with him, ain't you? HP, well, I... But it's written all over your face, darling. But that ain't the point right now. What is the point is that there are clients out there that think Billy's back, really back, and not just helping out. In fact, one of them thinks that Billy's running the company and you're the one that's just helping out. Well, yes, we, we had a spot of confusion with one of our suppliers, but, it, but it's all been taken care of. Mm -hmm. What I don't really understand is, is how Billy's own father doesn't trust him or have any faith in him. Darling, this ain't about trust. It's about addiction. H.B., Billy's been sober for months. He's in counseling. He's doing a marvelous job. Well, I'm very glad to hear that. But there's more than one kind of addiction, you know. I don't know what you're talking about. Power. Being the head honcho around here, that's a mighty strong habit to kick. hunk or what? Yeah, that's Dylan. You know him? Yeah, his dad and my dad are best friends. Well, I think it's about time we go for a swim. You got a suit? Yep, I got it on. Oh, great. Well, let me see what I can do to salvage this mess. <laughs> I thought you were going to return it. Oh, please, I don't have time for that now. So, tell me about this Dylan guy. Is he going with anyone? Well, he was engaged, but I think they broke up. <clears throat> oh, really? Yep. Is he poor? <laughs> He's not poor at all. His parents own Lewis Oil. Oil? Look, he must be loaded. <laughs> not that it matters or anything when you're as hot looking as he is. <laughs> so what do you think? Do I look great or what? <laughs> yeah, you look great. <laughs> well, come on, let's hit it. Take it to the corner and mail it for her. You think we should? 
This is very important, Ben. It's a love letter. You look surprised, Vanessa, darling. You and I both know uh, how much Billy enjoys wheeling and dealing. Well, sure, I know. But uh, he's got the towers. Yeah, but that ain't what turns him on. Lewis Oil does. You should understand that. You come from a powerful family yourself. Yes, yes, I do, but... But nothing. Billy's lost control and position a couple of times in his life. That's why it's all important for him to get it back. Well, I don't know what to say, H.B. I mean, you might be right, but... I think he's just trying to help, that's all. And besides, who knows, there might be a time when Billy would come back to Lewis Oil. You know, I get the feeling that, uh... You'd like it if he came back to more than just the company. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not about to deny that. Well, darling, whatever happens, I just want to make sure that it happens when it should and for the reasons it should, not just because Billy has to have it right now. <laughs> Daddy! Billy boy! <laughs> we were just talking about how you've been helping Vanessa. Mm. I'm glad things are running smooth. Well, I'm doing my best. You here for a day's work? No, no, I got a bunch of things to do. I was just leaving. Okay, well, I'll see you at home then. Right. Well, H.B., it was uh, great to see you. Great to see you too, darling. Well, glad you stopped by. What's the problem? Oh, no problem. Um, I just uh, need your help with something. Well, leave me to it. Okay. Um, we have a little problem with the, uh, Halloran contract. The lawyers messed up on the time frame, and I was just wondering, uh, if you could... I'm oh, sorry. Wanda must be on the other line. Mr. Chamberlain? Hello, Mr. Baker. Yes, of course I remember. What can I do for you? Mr. Chamberlain? Oh, excuse me. Uh, what is it, Wanda? Oh, you won't believe who just called. That executive from North Sea Oil who you talked to on the phone the other day? Oh, yeah, well, I, uh, I... She might be on the phone while... Uh, what did Mr. Peters want? He didn't even ask to be put through. He just said he wanted to triple his original order because of the fantastic deal you gave him. <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> What about all these orders we just got in? I thought you were the one who wanted to get to start, start getting rolling on all of this. Where were you when I needed to hear those words, Mindy? I was here. No, you weren't. You weren't. You were anywhere but. Look, I'm, I'm not going to put any blame on you. Because this is your business. And, well, maybe that's what the problem's been all along. Because it's been about, you know, your place and your time and your talent. Harley, I need you. No, you don't. You don't, Mindy. Hey, I used to think that you did. But you're going to be fine. You know, girls like you are always fine. You have tons of talent and, more importantly, you have trust funds to back it up. You have family businesses and they're not diners. Look, Mindy, you know, when you first told me that I was going to be a partner, I thought that I had really hit the jackpot this time. I thought that maybe that magic that you have was going to rub off on me and that everything I would touch would turn to gold. But it didn't rub off. And it's not going to ever because I just wasn't born into it the way that you were. I even thought that maybe I could get some of it when I married Alan Michael, but... Well, I was wrong about that, too. If you help me make a go of this business, you can name your price. You can go as far up the ladder as you want. I can't. I can't because, you know, that's not going to change who I am. I'm still going to be just this girl from Fifth Street. And if I really want things to happen in my life, I'm just going to have to do them the way that I always have. The hard way. any hard feelings between us. And you know that I, I wish you so much luck.
appreciate this, Holly, and I will do a terrific job. But I know you will, Jim. Um, if you'll excuse me, I want to go tell Hamp the news. Go ahead. Thanks again. So I'd like to get the interns uh, learning this new procedure as soon as possible. You agree? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So that's going to mean you're going to have to start mapping out the program. Now, what about your schedule? Are you going to have time for this? Daniel. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. What were you saying? Well, I was going to get into this later, but we might as well do it now. I wanted to warn you to expect a certain amount of flack when the board takes up the neuro robotics project the next time. Um, what sort of flack? What we talked about in my office, you're seeing Holly. She is the woman responsible for promoting this project on national television. That could be construed as conflict of interest. Well, I guess that you haven't heard the latest then. Holly's no longer producing the documentary. Good, I think that's a wise move. You still seeing it? Yeah. Unless that's a problem. It's not a problem with me. Okay. But is that everything then? That's everything. All right. If you'll excuse me. You know, sometimes I think it just might not have been a very good idea to ask Kat to come here this summer. Now, you know you don't even mean that. Uh, it would kill you to send her back to Tia. You know it. Yeah, well, that's true, but I don't like the way she treats you. I mean, you're very important to me, and she's got to respect that. To quote you, give her time. And she's young, and she wants all of her daddy's attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll come around. Yeah, well, I just hope it's sooner than later. Yeah, this is Dr. Bauer. Any messages? From Boston General? What did he say? This is Melinda Lewis Designs. This is Melinda. Oh, Miss Lewis. This is Adele Kenwood. I attended the garden party at your father's home a few weeks ago. Yes, Mrs. Kenwood. How can I help you? Well, I simply adored the fashions you showed that day, and I wondered if you'd be interested in designing some things for my daughter's sweet 16 party. Uh, hello? Are you there, Miss Lewis? 
Yes, Mrs. Kenwood, I'm here. I would be delighted to speak with you. Um, how about my office tomorrow morning at 10? Oh, that'd be fine. I'll see you then. Great. She might be on the phone while one night. We'll just tell her later. Oh, but I'll just no, go ahead and... No, no. So, guess what? What? That was Mr. Baker. Remember him? Oh, yeah. What do you want? Yeah, I think I, can. <clears throat> no, it's okay. It'll wait. But... Uh, no, no. You just skedaddle, okay? Go ahead. Go ahead, Wanda. It's okay. What's going on? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. It's, uh, gorgeous day outside, and the sun is shining, and the sky is blue, and the air is clean. And? And? Well, I thought that we could just sneak outside with a hooky for a couple hours and see that sun shining on those blue skies, and, uh... You're really something. You mean just walk out and leave the business? Well, I don't think it's going to go anywhere in a couple hours, do you? I'd love to. Sounds like a great idea. Let's go. News assignment editor John O'Connor. Tonight at six, more charges of financial impropriety are leveled against Rhode Island Secretary of State Kathleen Connor. Tom Bridey looks at the charges and has reaction coming up on Six News at Six. Join us.